Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Our IELTS series continues with another interesting video. Today, we are going to take the first step towards making our scores in IELTS writing better. So, let's start. academic writing test has two tasks, task 1 and task 2. Task 1 is report writing and task 2 is essay writing. 20 minutes and 40 minutes are given for task 1 and task 2 respectively. Clearly task 1 is the shorter one, therefore lower the weightage. Today we are going to discuss how to analyze IELTS academic writing task 1, report writing. This is an important skill for any IELTS test taker and we are going to show you how to do it quickly and effectively. We will take you through the process step by step. So, you can develop the confidence to tackle any IELTS report writing task. So, let's get started. In report writing, you are required to select and present key pieces of information from the given visuals. A minimum of 150 words should be written in the task in 20 minutes. The ideal word count is around 170 words. Make sure you don't exceed 200, that will make your writing too wordy. The visuals which one could get in the exam can be in the form of bar graphs, line graphs, pie charts, table, map, process diagram, flow chart and even a combination graph. These illustrations can vary but the objective would remain the same which is to select and report data. Let's discuss this in detail now. You will be required to analyze the information in these visuals and then express the same in sentences. Here, you need to make sure you present information logically. The end result should be easily readable and should not be missing any key information or highlight. And now, time for the big question. How can I get a respectable band score in IELTS writing task 1? Well, you need to understand that one doesn't need to be a book writer in order to get decent band scores in writing. It's all about fulfilling the demands of the IELTS writing assessment criteria. If somebody works on these criteria, they can easily get the desired band. So, what's the criteria? Let's learn. Examiners who evaluate writings give a band score on the basis of four parameters. This parameter checks if the question has been answered properly, if all the key information has been reported in the writing correctly, if data presented is accurate, if vote count is above 150. If somebody wants to achieve a high score in task achievement, then all these requirements should be fulfilled. This parameter checks if paragraphing has been done well, if there is a logical organization of the ideas, if it's easy to follow what has been written. In other words, this criteria checks if the reader can understand the text well. The next parameter is lexical resources, which means vocabulary used in the task. You should be able to use a wide variety of words without much repetition and the words should be used precisely to fit in a certain context. We have grammatical range and accuracy. As the name suggests, this assessment criteria checks the writer's grammar and their ability to construct a range of sentences. Let me put it this way, one should be able to communicate their ideas using the right tenses, sentence structures and other items in their writing. Grammatical errors which distort or change the meaning of sentences are considered as severe mistakes. So, if you are not so confident about your grammar, start working on it. In a nutshell, these parameters decide what band you get. Since you are now familiar with the assessment criteria, let's move on and learn how the layout of the report writing task should be. We can make 3 or 4 paragraphs as per the requirement of the visual. Some teachers suggest making only 3 paragraphs while others believe even 4 paras are fine. But just remember, whichever you follow, make sure your report is easy to understand, has an overall progression and has ideas which are arranged logically. Here we have the report writing format with 3 paragraphs. First comes the introduction, which is quite obvious. The introduction should include the paraphrased version of the question. Now some of you might wonder what paraphrasing is. Let me help you here. Paraphrasing is writing a given statement in a new way without changing its meaning or paraphrasing means rephrasing or rewriting a sentence using different words and grammatical structure. But again, 
making sure that the meaning remains unchanged. The intro paragraph should have between 15 and 30 words. No other information is required here. All right, so this makes our first paragraph, which is the introduction. In this paragraph, we need to present the most evident features of the visual. In other words, this tells the reader about the big picture of the data in the question. Ensure that you don't mention any numbers, figures or percentage in this paragraph. The overview should not take more than 40 words. Then we have the body paragraphs. You are required to compare and contrast the important information and features depicted in the illustration. Remember, we don't need to talk about everything shown in the graph, chart or table. Only the information which is quite unique, easily noticeable and relevant should be included. This brings us to the end of this video. Hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.